Hello again. So today's video is a first impressions of the Botanica tarot deck illustrated and created by Kevin J. Stanton. I also purchased the matching washi and foil stickers from the washi station because I have really wanted to have the right tarot deck so that I could begin tarot journaling. And I knew I wanted a tarot deck that had a botanical theme to it and this one did not disappoint. It did take a bit for it to get here and it kept, I thought it was going to be lost in the mail, but it finally arrived and it comes in this cardboard drawer box. This is the Herbalist edition and there's gold foiling all around it. The packaging is so nicely done. I get so excited when products have pretty packaging like this and it comes with this cute little patch, minor arcana stickers and a cute little dandelion charm which is featured throughout the packaging of this deck. I love all these extra goodies and I was excited to see how this deck looked in person. It comes with this paper little booklet to interpret your readings. I've always loved the idea of tarot cards. I used to have a tarot deck but this one is by far the most prettiest deck I've ever had and I was super excited to just have fun with it. It also comes with some postcards that are the same size of your deck and they, it does feature the gold foiling on the edges like the rest of the deck does. Each postcard is a card from the deck. It is just missing the symbol aka the title of the card. It's a wonderful extra goodie that it can either use as a postcard or even display them as a decorative piece in my office. I don't really consider myself an expert on tarot cards or, or tarot reading. I think it is just what you want to make of it. So for me, I'm just going to shuffle it the way that they have demonstrated it. Beehive Books has a way you're supposed to shuffle this deck on their channel and I'll link it down below. Honestly, I don't think it really matters how you shuffle it. I think this method is just the best way to keep your deck as nice looking as long as possible. And as an example, this one is the Page of Cups. The title is at the top, and then you just look for it in the little book. And it gives you some text for you to interpret this card and what it could mean for you based on the question you asked or the thoughts you were having when you pulled the card. This deck was created with a 10 card spread in mind. However, I do not feel ready to do 10 card readings. So for me, I'm just going to pull one card a day or just whenever I want to and do a journal spread of it and kind of just interpret it that way for me. Um, I don't know if this is the correct way of doing tarot. It's just what I'm going to do. You know, it, it just helps me clear my mind because I'm, again, I'm just picking a card, taking its description and what it could mean and just kind of interpreting it myself and whether or not you fully believe in it or not is up to you. I think it's just a great way to kind of organize your thoughts or worries or you know I really enjoy interpreting literature and symbolism and tarot reading is no different in that sense. And for this reading I pulled the Six of Cups which just based off of what the little booklet came with, it made me think about owning your time. And right now I feel like I don't really have ownership of my time because I spend most of it at work. So sometimes I feel like I am working for the weekend and I try to hold on to that time, what little free time I do have. And the text for this card had a line that mentioned a time of innocence and nostalgia and it really made me think about when I was a kid and how I didn't really understand the passing of time. I thought it was quite fitting for what I was thinking and how I was feeling and it was just, I feel like, spot on for me. But who knows, if an actual tarot reader was doing this spread, it may have meant something different altogether. But for me, this is all about my feelings, my interpretation, my perspective. I mean, it's my journal and this is just something for me to have fun with and enjoy. And it's also a fun way to come up with new journal prompts. And I mean, it's just fun. Another thing I'd like to note is that I purchased the Herbalist edition. They also have a Dark Alchemist edition, which also has a few other goodies, 
One of the extra things I wish I could have purchased is this book, which I can only assume contains more text for the meaning behind each of the cards. I think this would be very helpful and I really wish they sold it separately. They also have an Encanter edition, which contains a lot of different things. It's really pretty. I don't think it's necessary for my practice, but it is very pretty. And again, it just goes back into the attention to detail and the packaging and just everything. It's super beautiful and just, I love my edition, but I do hope they come out with that book separately so I can purchase it. That's all I really wanted to share with you today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will catch you in the next one. Thank you.